And in today's video guys, I'm about to show you how you can fix FPS drops and stutter here in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. We all know the season just came out guys, so of course there are going to be some issues. But I'm about to show you how you can fix that, so therefore don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So guys, and in the first place, we're going to cover all of the basic steps guys. And as well, one extra step, which a lot of people actually don't know you can do with Fortnite directly. What we of course want to do in the first place is click under library and then scroll down here a little bit until we can actually find Fortnite. Click under these three dots and make sure to go over to options. In here, I want you to make sure guys that you only have Fortnite core and battle royale actually selected the rest like fortnite safety world high resolution textures DirectX 12 shaders and all of that other stuff should be completely unchecked so therefore make sure that it also says here only that fortnite is checked and the same as well with the languages then we're gonna go and apply once we're done with that we're going to click again onto these three dots and go under manage once we're here in manage now guys we have a bunch of the next up guys we're going to click again onto these three dots and then we can see here actually manage we're going to click onto it and there we have a bunch of settings here something like auto updates create desktop shortcut and all of that stuff but what we want to actually focus around guys is verify click onto this once and then actually the epic games launcher is automatically going to browse through your fortnite basically searching for any corrupted files or data which could somehow actually cause fps drops or make your game stutter or lag and all of that stuff so therefore just simply let it run in the background real quick it's only going to take a few minutes of course depending on your system speed and then you're already good to go just simply let it run if there's any corrupted files it's going to automatically re-download them so therefore you don't have to worry about anything as an extra step i would also highly recommend you to actually click onto your name and then go under settings scroll down a little bit here until you can actually find fortnite open it up then you're going to make sure that additional comment line arguments is actually checked and then you're going to put in all of the following comments which are right now here on screen and as well in the video description guys we have land play no splash no texture streaming and use all available cores these are kind of self-explanatory you kind of give like the epic games launcher of these base comments to utilize the full system speed of your pc to focus mainly onto fortnite then we're going to close this go back in our settings and by now the verify should be already done here almost at 100 percent we're just going to wait a little bit for it to actually finish here in the background and you can see guys my fortnite was completely flawless so therefore nothing had to be re-downloaded what's a nice additional step which actually a lot of people don't know is once you go into your windows search bar and type in that presenter 10 percent and open it up you're going to click under local press f on your keyboard for fortnite game then we can see save config windows client and in here we have our game user settings sometimes actually settings from a previous season or chapter might be the problem so therefore what i can highly recommend you is actually to do sometimes delete your game user settings entirely now launch back into fortnite with the epic games launcher and it's going to get recreated and you have all of the basic settings again in there and make sure to apply all of the ones which i actually recommend you guys in my previous video with the best fortnite settings for low end pcs these ones are highly recommended and as well with the little icon on the top bar so therefore make sure to check it out afterwards and this next step now guys what i want to do is open up your file explorer click onto your local disk c and then under program files in here now you're going to find epic games on the top then you can see fortnite this is basically a whole entire fortnite folder once we now in here guys we have a bunch of options we have cloud engine and fortnite game we're going to click on the fortnite game and then binaries then once we're in here win 64 and in here now we have a bunch of options and as well actually the fortnite exit and here we're going to apply a bunch of steps in the first place, what I actually want you to do guys is click under Easy Anti-Cheat Camo. Open this one up and then you can see the Easy Anti-Cheat Setup. In here now guys, you can see the Anti-Cheat of Fortnite directly and it says right now your current game 217, which is the code for Fortnite actually, and we're going to click under Repair Service. It's only gonna take a few seconds and it's already finished here guys. Just simply click under Finish and you fully actually uninstalled and repaired the Anti-Cheat of Fortnite, if this might be the issue for your FPS drops. Then this next step now guys, we have here actually battle eye on the top. We're going to click onto it and there we have uninstall battle eye .bat. We're going to run this here real quick and then we can actually fully uninstall battle eye from our PC. And then next up here on the top, we have again install battle eye. So we're going to click under this one again. Once we're done with that, we're going to go one back here and scroll down a little bit until we can find all of the Fortnite access guys. And in here now we actually have Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping access, which is your main Fortnite one. You're going to click under properties and open it up. In here now under compatibility, what I want you to do is make sure to actually disable full screen optimization which is super important guys just simply make sure that this one here is checked then go under change dpi settings and there we're going to click under override high dpi scaling behavior scaling behavior application then we're going to click under OK and apply all of these settings and we're already done with this step as well. And this next step now guys, we're going to utilize a tool which is going to be called Run With Affinity. You can find it on my official website, link to it in the description. Just let me make sure to right click onto it and run it as administrator. 
Once this tool is actually open up, you can now in here actually select the affinity for every single tool, game or program on your PC. What we of course want to do is click on the select program, then we're going to go here again under this PC, click on the local DC, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, then we have Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64 and actually select Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. Make sure that this one is open up so that we have actually Fortnite enabled in this tool. What we can now do in here guys is set actually our processor affinity. So for me, since I'm running a 13th gen i9, I have actually 32 virtual cores. So therefore what I can do with this tool here is actually assign all of them or the maximum amount to Fortnite. It's gonna be of course a little bit more beneficial if you're maybe running like four to six, it's of course going to be a way bigger difference guys if you're maybe running something like 4 cores and 8 threads and you then actually assign all of the 8 threads for the multi-core rendering to your Fortnite. So therefore just simply make sure that you select the highest number and it's then of course going to be a way bigger difference if you then assign all of the 8 threads for your multi-core rendering to Fortnite. This is going to boost your performance like crazy. So therefore, just let me make sure that you select the maximum amount, guys, and make sure that Fortnite is selected. Then under Run, you're going to put it to Maximize and then Create Desktop Shortcut. Then you can see Shortcut created successfully. And now we actually have an exit on our desktop over which we can always run Fortnite with the maximum affinity of our CPU. So therefore, just let me keep this one somewhere here on your desktop and make sure to always launch a game over this exit. The tool itself, you can actually close and uninstall if you don't want to use it for any other game. The so next up, guys, I'm going to show you how you can actually reduce your ping in Fortnite for absolutely free with the GR Booster. The link to it is in the video description and over this link, you can actually try it out for free, guys, for four days. And all you got to do is click on the Fortnite and this is actually the tool which even Asian Jeff and Mero FNCS Global Championship winner are using. You can see it's basically searching actively in the background for the best DNS server for you to get the least amount of ping. For me, it's only eight milliseconds, which is insanely low, guys. Like in-game, this would be showcased as zero ping. You know, anything between like zero and 10 milliseconds gets in Fortnite actually showcased as zero ping, which already gives me an improvement of 63%, which is amazing, guys. And as mentioned, this tool is now using adaptive intelligent routing, which is this tech behind it, which is actively looking in the background for the best DNS server while you're actually playing. So let's just say that you finish your current match and a better DNS server is available. It's gonna automatically connect you to that one. Just simply let it run in the background, guys. You can use it for Fortnite, Valorant, CS, literally anything you guys want to play. And as mentioned with the link in the description, you can try it out for absolutely free. I also have 25 memberships actually to give away. So therefore send me a DM over on discord.gg slash stripes that you have this tool installed over my link. You have a chance to win a free membership. And as a quick extra tip guys, I want to tell you the latest Nvidia driver is actually not the best for Fortnite chapter five. You can see the latest version is actually version 546.33, but tons of people over on Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, everywhere have been telling guys, have been actually saying that they experience a ton of stutter and FPS drops with this driver so therefore which one i would recommend you instead guys is the version 536.99 this one is a little bit older from like august 2023 but this one is the most stable one when it comes down to comp gaming basically no matter which games you're trying to play right now and especially fortnite run a lot more stable and smoother on this driver so what are we going to actually do is go for a full-on uninstallation i have a full-on video about this on my official channel guys how you actually successfully uninstall a nvidia driver i'm going to put it right now on screen guys and as well in the info icon so therefore make sure you check it out but this is the one which you want to get you can find the driver of course as well on my official website guys link to it is in the description next up guys we're going to be using a tool which is called islc and this one is super important if you have high fps drops in fortnite to let this actually run in the back you can get it as well from my official website guys and we're going to launch the tool in the first place and once it's launched guys it should look exactly like this here what you can see in the first place guys is your total system memory for me it's right now here 64 gigs of ddr5 ram then you can see the standby list and working set which is insanely high as of right now here guys i have my PC now running for multiple hours. I've been video editing, playing Fortnite and all of that stuff. So therefore you can see my free memory is basically zero as of right now. I'm going to click on the purchase standby list guys. And now you can see my free memory is just gonna go all the way back guys, getting all of these gigs free again, which are right now actually in usage mode from Windows. Because in case you guys don't know, every single tool which you open up or if you're playing games in the background, your PC is over the period until you restart your PC the next time, actually going to put all of these data and infos on your RAM so that your PC knows, ah, okay, there's Google Chrome, there is Fortnite, there's whatever you use, Discord, so that it can like faster load it up. But, and what's happening then in the background is guys, the free memory is actually gonna get slower and slower. And the lower it is, the more FPS drops you get guys, because your PC is gonna run super slow. So therefore what we're gonna do in the first place guys, is open up the tool and for the list set at least you're going to put it to 1024 which is basically one gig of RAM 
and for free memory as well then you gotta put around half of your memory which is available on your pc so let's say if you're running 8 gigs of ram you're gonna tap in here 4000 if you're running 16 gigs of ram you're gonna put in here 8000 if you're running 32, 60,000, and you guys get the whole point, right? So for me, since I'm running actually 64 gigs of RAM, I'm going to put it on 32,000 because a thousand embed is actually one gigabyte. Then we also want to make sure to start ISLC minimized in the auto start monitoring and launch ISLC on the user log on. This is super important so that you don't have to do it manually every single time you launch your PC. Then on the right side, guys, we have as well built in here actually timer set resolution, which is going to give us less delay when it comes down to free building. So once a timer resolution, you're going to put guys on zero 0.50 this is super important then you're going to click here under enable custom timer resolution and under islc polling rate you're actually going to put this on a low to mid end pc to a thousand and on a high end pc you can put it even to 500 but for the majority of you guys it's probably going to be a thousand milliseconds and then just simply click under start and let it run in the background and you're already good to go also guys make sure to check out the low end 1v1 map which is actually the 1v1 map with the least amount of assets guys giving you the maximum fps possible other than on regular 1v1 maps guys there is no additional assets on this map which could somehow give you more input delay you have all of the most important weapons you can even swap here through and a super simplistic layout giving you the maximum fps possible in fortnite it is also the easiest way to support the channel for absolutely free with just simply playing this map for 1v1s. Just go into the search tab on Fortnite and type in that low end 1v1. Make sure to click onto it and also favor it in game. This would help me out so much and as mentioned it's the best way to support the channel for absolutely free.